It's back to school shopping time. And today I'm gonna to share with you guys not only the things I got for this upcoming school year, but a few things that you might consider as you are shopping. So let's get started. So I buy three categories of different products when it comes to back to school supplies. The first is the general supplies that I'm going to need for my homeschooling year. That's more traditionally what we think of. The second is supplemental resources to help my kiddos. And the third is supplies that I will need for other areas of life, but that are cheaper to buy during during the back to school season. So let's jump into those things. The first thing I do is always take an inventory of what I currently already have. This is very important so you're not duplicating what you're buying or missing something that you're actually running low on. Every year, no matter what, part of my kryptonite is crayons. I love Crayola crayons and I always buy at least one box per kid. Speaking of that, I also buy one package of colored pencils per kid. I have learned to skip the markers over the years. I just learned that my older kids who are plenty old enough to use markers don't really want to use them as much and my younger kids, it just never works out well. So we stick colored pencils around here. I absolutely love getting note cards during the season, especially the all white ones, the blank ones. And I will take advantage of that every single year because they are so affordable and there are so many different uses for them. We use them in our PAL program. My older kids use them when they're doing research papers or other projects. My husband, who's actually in college classes, also utilizes them. Another favorite I pick up every year is these tab dividers. We use these in our homeschool portfolio every single year. If you guys want to see how we put that together, be sure to check out the video up in the i cards and down in the description below. But I have absolutely loved them. I don't get the really fancy expensive ones, these simple ones from the Walmart brand um, with little papers that you can adjust the different labels on the side is all you really need. Speaking of portfolios, I always get a three inch binder. This one is a two inch, but I am going to be purchasing a three inch binder for our homeschool portfolio. Those are the essential supplies that I need each year, as long with some page protectors. I already have plenty left over from last year, so I don't need to purchase any more this year. A few other general supplies we got is for my husband, I splurge, and I bought the Sharpie brand highlighters. I have all these fun, colorful highlighters, and he just wanted straight yellow, and he really prefers the name brand to the off-brand and so since he's going back to college I figured I would get them this for him for a special treat also for my husband he absolutely loves graph paper he does not like to do lined paper so I got him this five subject graph paper notebook it's got dividers that pop out and you can easily move them around it's got over 300 pages and I grabbed it on an Amazon Prime Day deal which was a great deal so he's gonna be taking college algebra this next semester so this will last him the whole semester as he has to show all his work and turn that into his teacher the next thing I I got for general supplies are these spiral notebooks. They're only like 35 cents at Walmart during back to school season. I picked up two of every color, which turns out to be two per kid. These are ones that I, some of my kids, I have designated subjects that I know they're going to need this for, but it's also kind of one of those crossover things that's just so much cheaper to buy now that I like to keep a few on stock for the school year in case there's a subject or a curriculum that comes up where we need one of these. Okay, that brings us to our second category, which is those adaptive tools tools that my kids need that are a better price during back to school season. So I picked up for each of my eighth grade boys, I picked them up each a calculator. These were only $4 at Walmart and they're kind of moving into that pre-algebra uh, stage. And so it's time for them to be able to utilize these at least some of the time, if not all of the time for their math curriculum. I also picked up this popper. You might recognize this. I've talked about it in past videos, the hundreds charts popper. This is actually a multi multiplication chart popper. So I have some very kinesthetic learners, very hands-on learners, and this is your traditional multiplication chart, but in popper form. So they can go three times three is nine, and they can count it over. This has been perfect. The hundred chart has been perfect for my daughter with special needs. She really loves being able to count and she doesn't miss anything because when she's counting, she just pushes them down as she goes. So I knew the multiplication chart would be perfect as she's getting into more of that level here in math. Speaking of my daughter and some of her needs, one of the things that she tends to do when she works on school is to chew on her hair or on her shirt. Um, there's just this sense of needing to be chewing something and gum is not something she can handle all the time. So we got these chewy necklaces. I've gotten them in the past. There are lots of different styles and kinds. These were particularly on sale and they were cute. They're little feathers and there was a five pack of different colors that I purchased. It's got necklaces with the snap so it's nice and safe. You don't have to worry about choking hazards as much. Um, and she has 
these that she puts on during the school day and then takes off and hangs up on a hook after school's over. Also along those lines, we have lots of fidgets in our home as I have several kids with ADHD and other needs and just honestly, many of us like to use fidgets around our home. But something I got new this year is these textured strips. It's a whole pack of different multicolored stickers. They have all different colors or designs that you can use, but it also comes with six of these bookmarks. You can put the different textured stickers on here and your children are able to rub it. They're able to kind of pick at it, to draw lines. It's just kind of a nice fidget to have. We put them on carabiners for most of my kids so they can hook it on their backpack or on the loop on their pants. They just have the ability to have that on there. They can change it out with different colors. And just another way to help them focus. These stickers can also be placed on other things like the front of their notebook or even on their pencil boxes if they need something to fidget with while they're sitting and doing their school. The third category, like I mentioned, are those things that are just cheaper in back to school season that I like to purchase for other areas of life. So one of those things I've already shown you and that is this two inch binder that I got from Walmart. This is actually for my Sunday school lessons. Um, I teach preschool, Sunday school class. And so I am kind of working on gathering. I've made a lot of printables to go along with the curriculum we use and different activities that I have found over the years. So I'm kind of putting it all in one place so that for future years, it's easier to teach. Also for church, I picked up composition notebooks for each of my six kids. This will be their journal for church every single week. They will take that notebook to church and take notes in it, bring it home, and then we'll kind of review and talk over the different notes they took. For my youngest ones, they will draw pictures instead of write something that they heard about, but it's a great way to have, um, it's a great way to keep focus as well as to be a great conversation starter to talk about the sermon after church is over. Something else that's also cheaper during back to school season is usually ink cartridges and paper for your printer. So always consider looking around for deals, watching out for your favorite deals to pick up some ink for the upcoming school year or for other uses. I also like to get my personal favorite kind of pen, which is the G2 pens. They're kind of expensive normally, but usually during back to school season, you can find a great deal. I also usually take this time to get Sharpies for my home and my homeschool. We host a lot and we'll have people write on their cups with their Sharpie name or different activities that we'll do when we do a garage sale or we do other things. I always need a Sharpie and they can be so expensive. It can be $3 or more just for two Sharpies, but I was able on a recent deal to get a 12 pack of Sharpies for only $5. So that was a great snack. All I have left to get this year is pencils. I always go with Ticaronda pencils. They are the best out there. They sharpen the best. They don't break. The erasers are phenomenal, but I'm kind of waiting to find the best deal on those currently. And I still need to get construction paper. I have found in the past, the best deal hands down is from Sam's Club. You can get a huge thing of construction paper, high quality construction paper for a very, very cheap price. So it's definitely something to check into if you didn't know about that. Let me know your favorite school supply down below and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.